Today I want to share another clip from my past with you. There was an opera production I did, I believe it was in 2008, <laughs> something like that. It was in Munich, it was at the Tallwood Festival. If anybody's from Germany, you may know about this. It's a really big festival that takes place in the summer and then also in the winter. This was the Winter Tallwood Festival. And the main attraction was the opera Hensel and Gretel by Humperdinck. I was Gretel and actually that was the production that tipped the scale for me to not want to do opera anymore. I loved the music, I loved the conductor, she was awesome, and I loved the instrumentation. They actually did a whole new instrumentation. They did it with traditional old instruments. So instead of the symphony orchestra, they actually did accordion, harmonium, recorder, um, and some woodwinds. So it was a small orchestra, rewritten instrumentation, and it sounded really wonderful. We had this huge set, as you will see. It was like this huge mountain that was made of concrete. And you will see my costume. It's just pretty much a see-through thing. Uh, I mean, you can't see everything, but it's just like, I didn't like it. And then we had those military kind of boots on, and then I was singing this beautiful piece. Um, it is a traditional German children's song, actually. Ein Männlein steht im Walde. And as I was singing that, I was supposed to handle just like this crown that was made out of wires. It was the weirdest thing. And like later in the production, we were like smearing blood all over us and stuff. I just, it, it was kind of crazy. And see for yourself. I hope you enjoy. Maybe you can just close, the, close your eyes and just listen to the music because I think it's beautiful. I love that piece of music. It's very simple, but I also think it has such a beauty in it, in the simplicity. Hope you enjoy. Ein Männlein steht im Wald ganz still und stumm. Es hat von lauter Purpur ein Männlein um. Sagte mag das Männlein sein, was da steht im Wald allein mit dem purpurroten Männlein. Steht im Wald auf einem Bein und hat auf seinem Kopf Schwarzkäpplein klein. Sagt, wer mag das Männlein sein, was da steht auf einem Bein mit dem kleinen schwarzen Käpplein. So, this is just to show you that there's sometimes this discrepancy or let's just say cognitive and emotional dissonance. Um, my reasoning said, okay, it's okay, just do it, suck it up and drive on. And then my feelings said, this is psycho, I don't like it, this is against what I want the music to be, the music is beautiful and it's just about this story about those two children who get lost and the stage director just wanted to make it this very intellectual socio-political piece which I did not like. <laughs> I, the reason why I like opera and musical theater is because it helps me just escape from all this negativity in the world nowadays. It's just about simple human problems. Everybody has them and we all know it, we all can identify. And after that I decided this is not the life I really want. I want to make music that I enjoy and I want to be able to decide about my, like over my body and about over what I need to do. This was really getting into my psyche and violating my personal boundaries for some reason. I still enjoyed it, I still learned a lot, but I would never trade what I do nowadays for what I did back then. It was awesome, but I have freedom, I have absolute freedom in my life and that my personal freedom 
is more valuable to me than almost anything else. So hope you have a wonderful day and I hope you'll be back soon. Bye.